This video is presented to you by American Country 716. So not only did we get some new hens for our farm, we got some baby chicks delivered. The baby chicks, you could call them peepers, are right here. They're going to be uh, raised for eight weeks, and we are going to uh, slaughter them or process them. And they're going to be meat chickens. They are Cornish Cross. Um, right now we have them in the chicken brooder. Um, in a week, we'll get them in our chicken tractor we built. If anybody looks back at uh, some of my videos, I built a chicken tractor. And uh, you'll see Mrs. American Country 716 inside there. It kept her inside, so it ought to keep these guys inside. Uh, right now we have some other egg layers that we're raising. Um, but they're going to have to go in with our other flock, the flock that we have. Um, so actually our flock is getting quite large at this point. I didn't realize Mrs. American Country was going to buy so many chickens, but she likes chickens. So stay tuned to see how these little guys grow up. I know they grow fast. I grew some last year. Um, it's kind of neat seeing how quick they grow. Okay, keep watching. Well, on today's episode of uh, American Country 716, we got a lot of stuff to do. Right now, we're going to stack some firewood. Uh, we've got a whole list of things to do on this uh, Saturday morning. Uh, so this is going to be our first task. Actually, our first task was playing with new chickens, but thing for me with firewood is uh, to know if you got a base cord or not I gotta figure out a better way to do that so I'm gonna put this in the bucket stack it up that way I know I got a face cord well, like that, we got a bucket full. Let's go stack it up. so we got the original American Country 716 on the scene here he's a real worker look at him go so we're gonna stack this up and I'll give you a show of what we got when we're done. Well, we got all that wood that we had split there all picked up. Um, let's continue. Pieces I have in the bucket, they're all oddballs that uh, nobody want to buy. Uh, I'm going to burn them in my outside wood boiler. I can burn any shape and size, wet or dry in that thing. That's where this pile of misfits are going. We call this the misfit one. There he is. That's the wood pile. Um, I actually had somebody come and buy a face cord, so sold one and we stacked it. There we are now. We are now entering the land of misfit wood. Burn up anything in that uh, boiler over there. Even though it's summertime, I use it to heat my hot water. Um, and all these little misshaped pieces of wood will burn just fine for what I'm doing. So now we're going to switch gears to uh, plant some vegetables that I have uh, in the garden behind the pigs there. Um, I believe we're going to put a fence up. So the woodchucks don't eat everything off. I do have a bunch of woodchucks around here. And uh, show you some of that. Well, here's our little garden before we plant anything. This was worked up by a uh, Massey 1010 and a Ford 600. Um, and maybe even 800. I was having trouble with a 1010. Normally it would have been just rotor tilt, but... We used a plow and we also used a disc and we also ran over it with a 1010 when the radiator was leaking. So that's what she looks like now. Here we go. What do you got going on there, Mr. Original American Country 716? Just giving the poor things a drink. Oh yeah, what do you got in your other hand? A little fertilizer. Oh yeah, we're gonna fertilize them. <laughs> 
put a little fertilizer in the hole and give it a little water. That's what we're doing. Trying to be farmers. Big time farmers here. So we got a little bit of everything. We got peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, squash, and what else? Cilantro, I think. Uh, a good friend of mine, um, CJ, how do you pronounce his last name? Basqualia? I might even be botching that for my good friend. I should have his name figured out, especially to put it on YouTube, but it's not like it's a common name like George or John, so whatever. He's got all sorts of good plants. Uh, he owns a farm called the Three Sisters Farm. If anybody needs plants uh, in the area here, 716 area code. He's the place to get them from. They're beautiful. Into the hole it goes. If we can get it out of the container, one-handed. So, he should have been playing a few days ago. Um, clearly, I gotta go to work, so. These vegetables looked really amazing the day I got them. They've downgraded since I got them due to the fact that I didn't get them in the ground right away. Uh, I had them sitting out in full sun. I uh, probably should have had them somewhere in the shade maybe, I don't know, but we're getting them in the ground today. That's all I can tell you. So here's a little overview. We got Hungarian yellow peppers, lunchbox peppers, red bell peppers, some tomatoes, a uh, cilantro plant in between the peppers. Figured you might as well keep it in the line there. Some squash, pickles, and zucchini, I think they are. So now we're gonna plant some pumpkins. So here's the fencing we're gonna attempt to use. Uh, we'll put some stakes in, and hopefully it deters critters from eating everything. Probably not, but that's the plan. It's hard to see out here with the sun. Looks pretty good. Some wiring, <coughs> wired up. We're like professionals. Well, we still got a around the corner but it looks like I just got the right amount of fence so we also got seed potatoes we're planting what kind we got here Minnesota's three different kinds you gotta speak up I don't know if they can hear you Minnesota are they well Minnesota's is the name of the I don't know what we got here do you know say that again I don't think they could hear Right there. Oh, shit. On the X1. Where the hell do you see that? On that egg. Oh, red Pontiac. All right, I see it there. I don't know my potatoes. Norland red. And Yukon uh, gold. That's what he says. I guess I need better ears. But anyway. Here's a good row of taters going in the ground. I thought you cubed them up always. How come you're not cubing these ones? Some of them didn't have so many eyes. They gotta have an eye. Oh, yeah, those only have one eye per tater. Oh, I get it. Some of them didn't have as many. You're a better farmer than me, but well, we'll have to learn as we go. Looking pretty good. Hope they grow. We'll have steak and potatoes and Maybe chicken once in a while. There's a fence. She's coming along too. Got a piece of tin I'm going to put over there. So what do you do for potatoes? You make them in a mound? Yeah. You hill them? You hill them? Yeah, you hill them up. They look nice in nice rows. It's good to get them in the ground today. That's for sure. Beautiful day. It's not supposed to rain this weekend, I don't think. Not like last weekend. Oh, really? Oh, maybe. 
I don't watch the weather or the news. Depressing. Seems like my YouTube's got to be better than watching the news. At least I feel that way. Well, here's the final product. Pumpkins, vegetables, more pumpkins, and potatoes. Hard to see where they are on camera. You can see the rows there. There's a bag. There's a bag. There's a bag. And there's some, one, some that came up uh, from last year. Let's see where, right there. Those are wild potatoes. So, looking good. Pretty happy. So we're gonna go across the street. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, sunflowers. I planted sunflowers around the inside of the fence up to here. So it should look cool. Hopefully somebody wants to purchase some sunflowers when they grow. And some vegetables. So here we are, planting more sunflowers. The ones we planted last week, I don't see them coming up yet. I don't know what's going on with them. Looks like maybe a few, but not too many. I would think with all the rain we had, they'd be popped up, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see how this works out. There's two more rows of sunflowers. So hopefully at some point they grow. Time will tell. Hey there ladies. Come and exploring. You guys are nice chickens. I have to put some tread on that ramp for you so you don't slide down it. Oh, you're making it. First time out. Well, I'm hoping this is the last chore of the day. We got a little firewood we're gonna deliver to a uh, neighbor, um, and here we go. If you want to get a hold of the Three Sister Farm, uh, you can uh, get a hold of them via email, Facebook, Instagram, and the phone number's on the card. Well, I'm not sure I'm completely done with working today, but that's it for this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Happy farming.